Hi folks, welcome to another SQL tutorial from SQL Maestros. Today we are going to see the compute scalar operator along with the stream aggregate operator. Today's demo, today's content is based on a question in one of the forums. So the user posted this simple select statement. Look at the screen. It says select AVG function okay, on list price from production.product. Now this seems to be a very simple aggregate operation that is being performed here. So along with the select statement, the graphical execution plan was also posted and the user specifically asked. So let's see the graphical execution plan. Let's select this and execute. The actual execution plan is turned on. Let's jump over to the execution plan and the user specifically asked that, okay, I understand that there is a clustered index scan going on and we are performing an aggregate. So stream aggregate is supposedly doing the aggregation job here. Understood. What is the compute scalar operator doing here? What exactly is the purpose of compute scalar? Now, in order for me to explain what compute scalar is doing, we also need to understand stream aggregate iterator in slightly more detail and today's content is about that. So this is a bit of internals of how SQL Server optimizer works and of course uh, a little more a deep dive into the execution plans and hopefully you will like the content. So let's take a step back and look at the results set. If you look at the select statement, we are performing an average here. So we are using the AVG function. There is no group by here, which means this select statement will always produce a single value. So this is technically called as a scalar aggregate operation because we are returning a single value always. There is no group by. Things change if there is a group by clause here. We are not going to cover that in this video, probably some other video. So first things first, a scalar aggregate operation is being performed. Now let's jump over to the execution plan. In the execution plan, there is no where clause here in the select statement as well, which means you want to scan all the data. So you have a clustered index scan on the table. Now a table may have a clustered index or it may not have a clustered index, which means it's a heap. So either you will see a clustered index scan or you will see a table uh, scan. Now here in this case, we have a clustered index scan. All this is relatively very easy to understand. Now the data is being scanned and you know how the iterators work, right? Each iterator is independent in a way, which means it performs its job and sends the output to the next iterator. So you're reading like from right to left. The output of one iterator becomes the input for the next one. Now let's come to the important one, stream aggregate. Now, if you go back to the basics of mathematics, how is an average performed? The average is performed by taking all the numerical data items, you are summing it up and then you are dividing it by the number of data items. So let's say there are 10 data items and each has a value of 10, a simple average. So you add up all of them, which makes it 100 and then you divide it by the number of items, which is 10. So you get the average value 10, which means stream aggregate this iterator is doing that job. Okay, I'm coming to compute scalar in a moment because you know, we all tend to believe, okay, why is compute scalar required? Stream aggregate will just do the job and send the output to the select iterator, but just hold on. So stream aggregate is also doing that. So stream aggregate is doing two things here. It's computing two expression. The first expression it's computing is the sum which is adding up all the data items and the second expression is the count which is the number of data items. If you right click on stream aggregate and go to properties, you will be able to figure this out from defined values. Let's go and expand this and let's go and zoom a bit. Okay, there you zoom here and you will see, there you go. Expression 1003 which is performing the count as you can see and expression 1004 which is performing the sum that I talked about which means what really is the AVG function now it's simply 
एक्सप्रेशन 1004 डिवाइडेड बाय एक्सप्रेशन 1003 जॉब डन एज सिंपल इज दैट सो यू कैन सी स्ट्रीम एग्रीगेट इज डूइंग दीज टू थिंग्स व्हिच इज कंप्यूटिंग द एक्सप्रेशन 1003 एंड गेटिंग द वैल्यू फॉर एक्सप्रेशन 1004 ओके सो इफ इट इज एज सिंपल एज सम डिवाइडेड बाय द काउंट why do you need compute scalar very valid question and it's always good to go back to the basics of understanding why we have these iterators and of course each iterator in the execution plan has a purpose so let's take the cursor over compute scalar and let's see what compute scalar is doing so you know these property uh, the property windows on the right side they give you lot of internals so let's take the compute scalar let's expand defined values and now you will see in defined values expression 1002 okay so you have a new expression here 1002 let's expand this and let's take this uh, entire uh, value the definition here and let's put it up here okay now this is what is uh, put up in the compute scalar definition okay i've picked it up from the defined values let's take a closer look at what it says scalar operator case when expression 1003 is equal to 0 then null else expression 1004 divided by expression 1003 very very self explanatory so now you understand what compute scalar is doing it is computing that in case expression 1003 which is the count right the first one if expression 1003 is zero which means no data items at all then return null right because you want to avoid a division by zero error so you are returning null to the select operator but yes if there is any value other than 0 then the mathematics is simply 1004 divided by 1003 so this is what compute scalar is doing it is performing that final scalar aggregate mathematics which is checking on if expression 1003 is not zero that's what it is doing so it's all there in the properties window it's all there in the execution plan whether you check the properties window or whether you look into the xml version of the graphical execution plan just right click here on this one and yeah show execution plan xml it's all defined here we are not getting into the xml version because most of the stuff that we want we get it in the properties window but yeah sometimes you have to jump over to the xml version as well not everything that is there in xml is available in the properties window okay so let's go and close this and close this okay friends so now you understand why do you have a compute scalar operator here apart from the presence of stream aggregate All right short tutorial but very useful because you will see compute scalar iterator so many times in the graphical execution plan and you will understand that it is performing a scalar operation giving you that final value and then of course this is passed on to the uh, select iterator which returns it back to the client this is what this uh, video was all about and continuing this because there was a follow up question also on this stream aggregate versus hash aggregate so i am going to put that video up um uh, uh, the next day the following day and you will be able to see that video in our premium section so if you go to sequelmeshros.com we have a premium video lobby and it's going to be present there or even on youtube we have a members only section and that video will be present there in the members only section feel free to subscribe to the members only section but if you don't want to spend money no worries you have a lot of free content always coming from me and from sequel maestros all right friends do check out sequelmaestros.com the lot of upcoming master classes there are video courses there's all in one bundle there are master class recordings lot of hd content high definition content the recent master class was like 40 hours and whatever you subscribe to you get lifetime access exactly you don't have to renew each year you subscribe once you have lifetime access watch any time anywhere as many times as you want okay did you enjoy this video if yes do put a comment and share this content with your friends and colleagues happy sequel 
If you like the content, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon so that you're notified on new videos. Most importantly, visit sequelmaestros.com. There's a lot of SQL learning resources out there, video courses, master classes, lab kits, ebooks, blogs, hands-on labs, and a lot more. Follow us on Twitter, at the rate SQL Maestros, and myself, A underscore Bunsel. Last but not the least, do subscribe to our newsletters. See you soon in another video. Goodbye.